Hello, my name is Baconism, I'm the permanent damage guy, and this is how I beat Minecraft without touching stone. I started by getting some splinters and turning them into rafts so I could seal the ocean blue and become acquainted with the sign golem. I pirated Minecraft on the way as well, whilst also stealing goods from every remnant I saw. I mean, I am British after all. I played Pong with this village and run portal, then entered the nether with no harm done. Those of you who have seen my content before are probably thinking that this is fast paced, even for me. One, I refuse to make a your mother joke here. Two, this is the first of ten runs and it is trivially easy to avoid a cave. But three, TikTok ruined your attention span, so don't be annoyed at me for catering to your needs. Also, nothing interesting happened, but that's besides the point. You're a social media addict. This challenge starts to become an abomination once we get into the nether. Not only do I have to look at everything I do with meticulous care to ensure that I don't break the rules, but I also have to do it with an onslaught of mobs who want to drown me in some baked beans any chance they get. But first, let's enact the Dora the Explorer segment, because I found way too many bastions and next to no fortresses. Screw Dora the Explorer, there were 15. I know this because I ran about 6,000 blocks, and I refused to look for them amongst the 4 hours of footage that I was running this distance. After casually strolling through the Basalt Delta, I got my blaze rods, ate some baked beans, and left the nether to go get some extra food. And if you haven't seen what happened already, I'll pull up the YouTube short. That was when I saw this. Which shit- Here are failed attempts 2, 3, and 4 because they were boring as shit. But now on to my next good attempt, attempt 5. I spawned in a snowy village and got trolled by this farmer. So I pillaged everything with my grubby little hands in retaliation. Then frolicked to the neighboring plains where I found another village, and also a lava pool and a pillager outpost, but I don't see who asked. Oh. I guess I did, huh. I'm not sure what the fuck compelled me to do this, but I raided the pillager outpost and ran away with style, and it's time to return to hell I suppose. After running around in a circle and ultimately committing suicide, I loaded up the other backup because I wasn't getting my stuff back, and I'll show you the bullshit route I took to find the nether fortress. Huggy Wuggy's Cubic Companion, say that three times fast, decided to make my life a little harder and turn it into a horror game. The fortress wasn't that interesting, I got the rods, died, died some more, and evacuated the nether to complete a raid because if you think I'm bothering, you're bloody mad. We all know what happened here, right? I'm sorry, someone fucking cared to explain that bullshit? I've never seen a pillager become an auto fire turret. Wait. Here are attempts 6, 7, and 8, and alas, my final attempt, 21 hours later. I wish I was exaggerating. Once again, I plucked the splinters from my hands and ordered them into a boat, of which I used to sail the seven seas. I saw some bitches cat, and no I didn't misspeak, and then did my British act of taking someone else's stuff and claiming it's mine. Me and in surname here slept peacefully before I ransacked this village and unexpectedly abandoned it. As well as in surname here, I didn't want to leave them behind, however they didn't go in. In retrospect, this cat probably would have been more hassle than help, but would have been nice. After the bitch got her revenge, I set out in hopes of finding another fortress. I played hopscotch with Demise Incarnate and got some incredible bartering luck with my 14 gold. After a lot of nothing, I played in the mud like the pygmy religion I am, and then found the nether fortress. I slapped down that sweet fiery juice and... I... Don't know why I wanted to say molested, committed mass genocide. But you only get the fruits of my labor. I did a very small amount of buttering, committed many more egregious acts, and used this ruined portal to leave hell instead of walking 400 blocks because I'm lazy. This is the furthest I've made out of any of the ranch thus far, and after a quick marathon, I was above the stronghold, so you can imagine that I was getting pretty pumped. I used my limited resources to make an axe and chop down all the remaining trees in the Amazon rainforest. After a very slow descent, emphasis on the slow, and some tedious but incredible navigating on my part inside of the stronghold, 
I found the portal. I set my spawn and turns out it didn't work. Then I entered the final frontier. Let's do this. Wait, I placed my bed on slabs. I'm gonna fool through those if I die. Well, there's no time to worry about the uh, cold embrace of death and failing this chip. Fucking hell loud. Ow. I really strongly get the feeling some motherfucker's gonna come in here and say, Oh, but you touched bedrock! There's a rock in its name! You cheated! No, I didn't. It's not stone, it's a rock. They're practically the same thing, but they're not, so I don't fucking care, mate. Go- I was gonna say go kill yourself, I saw the extremes in it. Right, okay. Well... He's gonna fly- oh damn, okay, Never mind. <laughs> I honestly turned around and expected to get, like, face plant with a fireball. I shouldn't jump at him like that, he's gonna hit me one of these times. There's just no easy way for me to break the goddamn crystal, so I'm stuck having him just fucking run away. Don't look at that. Run away and then have to... It's just pain. Don't fireball me. Okay, he didn't fireball me. Is he parching again? Oh my god. This look is- oh, that's a little inconvenient. Um, screw it. That was the fastest perch yet. He literally just left and immediately came back. Goddamn. Alright. Holy shit! Oh my god! I fucking did it! I did it! Oh my god, I did it! 23 hours! Oh my god, yeah, as I said about the bed. Fuck!